I guess I'm doing this for Matt, I don't know. Um, Jamie, what do we have this week in let's, comics? Let's start with Walking Dead. The, uh, the plot device right now is uh, our, our team of, uh, our band of survivors settling in with all of these, uh, this new group of people. Seemingly cracking at the seams, this apparently is headed for disaster. I'm getting really nervous. There aren't any zombies yet, and I know there are going to be some. Well, there's something's coming, but we don't know what it is. Shield. Danny, I, I found it incomprehensible. I loved it. It's just so epic, and the art's great. Like, I've never read a comic from Marvel like that before. No, it is something different. Yeah. Uh, I'll always harp on these noir titles. Iron Man noir is just good fun. Please pick it up. Frankencastle. I thought this thing was an aberration that was going to last not much longer, but I was wrong. In fact, he is due a new appearance with this guy, and this is a, this crossover is coming up soon. And frankly, I'm glad because I am so tired of this Wolverine character. In this issue, his ambiguous sexuality becomes more and more clear, and it's just not going the direction I want a Wolverine story to go. And then speaking of gay, this is the, this, just like it says, the Sensational Seven, this is sensationally funny. Rawhide Kid 2, this is the second storyline. It is a crack up. Really? Did you like the original? I know a lot of people hate yeah, it. Yeah, I love the original. It was so tongue in cheek. It was extraordinarily humorous and funny. You know who else has tongues and cheeks? Matt! I've got a beard this week. What? I got lazy. Speaking of other weird things, let's check out some offbeat comic books in the comic book world. We just talked about Rye High Kid and he used a lot of innuendo. It's a gay cowboy. But it's fun. Like a regular cowboy. But he's gay. Neat. Godland is an interesting book. It's pretty much just every single... What's his crazy face? Oh boy. Um, I forgot. Stop. Jack Kirby? Jack Kirby! It's like him, but weird on purpose. It's nuts. It's a space cosmic. Check it out. It's weird. The Punisher, if you don't know, is now a Frankenstein. And he rides a dragon and kills monsters. That's pretty offbeat, right? If you don't like superheroes, check out Chew by Image. It's about a detective that solves crimes by eating things and discovering things about what or whom he's eaten. Vertigo's got I, Zombie, a book about a girl who's a zombie that tries to not be a zombie by eating brains. And then she solves mysteries by who she eats. I'm sensing a trend. Mike Alro does the art, which is good. He also did the art for X-Force, a book that's older, but it's neat. It's about superheroes that are not good people. Uh, trying to make some money, make movies. They're awful people. Um, if you want to get super weird, that's a Lady Gaga comic. See, look, it's not a joke. I'm picking it up. Um, this book is so weird, it made me feel uncomfortable, and I couldn't enjoy it. So, weird comics. Here's some more weirdos. One of them is me. Hey, you're the guy from the other thing. I'm that guy you saw. Hey, so what's our pick this week? We'll pick something. Oh, I'm already, I've already picked. What? Thanos Imperative. Why? Because it is awesome. Explain. Okay, so nobody pays attention to Marvel's cosmic characters because all the Marvel characters people like live on Earth, so we all ignore this, but we shouldn't because it's awesome. So there's this thing called the Cancerverse, what? where death doesn't exist, what? and they're moving into our universe. Mm. So, the uh, Marvel space guys send Thanos in to kill everybody. That's pretty cool, right? I guess that makes sense. It's got sense. Rocket Raccoon in it. I feel like one or more of us are drunk right now. I had a lot of energy drink. Me too. It's pretty tasty. Mm. It's neurosonic stuff. It's good. Just comes at you. You can't oh. even help it. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so tasty. Okay, I'm um, gonna go sleep it off. I'm gonna read more of this comic, because it really happened, and we need to know our history. Also, I'm Matt. I'm Danny. And we'll see you next week. Beware. From the Cancerverse. Monkey Toss TV. Biff, Biff bang, bang. How? How. Is that right? Is that what we're calling ourselves? We should call it the Thanos Imperative. I thought we were the homeschool Monkey races. Monkey Toss TV's Thanos Imperative. Are we a crossover? Yeah. I get to be Rocket Raccoon. We're all scrolls.